I have translated this from a Greek article in uh, Trilegraphia Arhondariki, and hopefully you'll excuse my being a little bit delayed as I do the audio for you. prophecy of Elder Paisius for America by St. Paisius the Athenite. This discussion took place after the Holy Liturgy in a discussion room called the Arhondariki. Prophecies of St. Elder Paisius. America has been the subject of prophecy both of Elder Paisius, the recent saint of Orthodox Christianity, and other elders who among other prophets state that America will feed the world and in the end will be destroyed and that will cease to be the superpower. It's very beneficial to read the words of Elder Paisius, Saint Aristocles, as well as Father John Kalaidi, which especially today seem more fitting than ever. Elder Paisius, spoke on various topics and among them were of course concerning America. Elder Paisius remembers that at one point he had been visited by a Greek American senator and had the following incident. Now I'll go slowly because I'm translating from the Greek article into English as I'm speaking to you. During the war of Yugoslavia, a Greek American senator had gone to the Holy Mount Athos of northern Greece, someone had told him concerning the elder who was prophetic, who had discernment and graces, prophetic graces from God. And this senator, the Greek American senator, decided to go to the holy mountain and meet him. When he arrived there at the elder's monastery cell, the senator was accompanied by two other people, two other men. Only men can go to the Holy Mount Athos monasteries. Women are not allowed there. So this Greek American senator went there with two other men. And the uh, elder came out to meet them. And the moment he saw them, he lowered his eyes and he said in a very low voice, killers of people, American. Now at hearing this, some bystanders tried to fix things by saying, but Elder, they're not just Americans, they're Greeks who came for pilgrimage here to the Holy Mount Athos, and they came to see you. So the Elder did not change his stance. He started talking to them again, saying to them, without the Americans, there would be peace in the world. In other words, let me rephrase this. If it were not for, their, for the Americans, there would be peace in the world. In other words, it's the actions of Americans that are causing peace not to be in the world. Then the youngest of the people with the senator said to the elder Pisces, we are trying to bring peace to the world. We are not in agreement with the actions of the American president. However, we're trying, on the other hand, through the minority party to help our Serb brethren on account of orthodoxy. However, the elder did not want to continue speaking with them. It was the witness of Mr. Vidali Stavru, who was uh, an anti-general of the Greek army, of the Greek police, and also a theologian, and a former administrator of the Holy Mountain. According to St. Aristocles, he says, America will feed all of the world, but in the end, it will have a downfall. That is, the country of America will have a downfall. Now, I have to uh, make a parenthesis here, what Greeks mean by America. By America, they mean the United States. 
they don't mean North America or Canada. If they meant Canada, they would say Canada. When the Greeks say America, they mean United States of America. So Saint Aristocles said concerning another miracle that France would be nothing. Italy would suffer from physical catastrophe, natural catastrophes, that Britain would lose her empire and all of her colonies and would come almost to the brink of disaster. But she will be saved because of her prayers of the holy women in royalty. America would feed all the world, but in the end will have a downfall. Concerning Russia, Russia will be free and because of the faithful will go forward and will bring many nations who regain and have strong faith in God. A little bit about Saint Aristocles who made these prophecies. His name uh, before he was a monk was Alexius of Alexius Avrosif who was born in 1846. He died in 1918 in August and he foresaw his death and um, what happened was that his holy relics were um, discarded. Later on, they were taken back to uh, his monast the monastery of Saint Daniel, just as he prophesied. Now, concerning the prophecy concerning America again, he prophesied that it would no longer be a superpower, that something would take place that would be a very disastrous thing for the United States. This is also a, a prophecy by a Saint Simoglu of Alexandropoli in Northern Greece. Also, Saint Paisius says that we are living in the days where Greece will take back Constantinople, which is today Istanbul of Turkey. Constantinople, of course, was at one point the first free Christian city established by St. Constantine in the middle 4th century, 13, that is about 340-350 AD, and um, it fell to the Turks, remained Turkish in 1452. And uh, the prophecy is that Greece will take back Constantinople, it will again begin be Greek. Now, I, for, uh, I'm sorry to say that the way things are in Greece today, I mean, Greece is bankrupt and broke. Uh, they're now talking about leaving the European Union, leaving the Euro currency, going back to the Greek drachma. God knows what's going to happen, but things are in a very dire strait here in, in Greece, for example. How is it that Greece is going to have Constantinople. And yet, this is what the uh, Orthodox saints are prophesying. And it's just unbelievable. But sometimes events take place that are unforeseen. So, this is a prophecy that Greece will be, Constantinople will be given to Greece. Not because Greece merits it. It's just that something's going to happen or they won't know what's going to, who will, who will have to have uh, the property of the city of Constantinople. Something will happen to Turkey that will cause Turkey to break into three different longitudinal pieces and the west part will be given to Greece for some reason because they don't know who else to give it to. So, um, St. Paisius says that all these things will happen very quickly and the Greek American senator who was there with his two companions was there with another seven, another six people. They were nine men all together at this discussion and St. Paisius said that all of you will be alive and you will visit Constantinople when Constantinople becomes Greek again. 
but I will not be around because I would have died. I would have uh, gone into my dormition. So uh, this is from a book by Father John Kalaidis, who lived between 1925 and 2009. And the book prophecies are on page 141, 141 and 142. I'm sorry that my translation is a little bit slow. It may not be a, at all proper for you to, maybe I've gotten you a little bit tired uh, translating this, but um, I'm not a translator, <laughs> sorry to say. It's just that uh, it's a little bit strange for me. Uh, I, I'm trying to figure out how this is going to take place. Uh, what God's plan is. Uh, there are no dates given for this. Saint Paisus says, no, everything will be done in God's time, but it will be done in your lifetimes. And I'm not going to give you specific dates, he says, but it will be in your lifetime. And now, uh, the elder Paisus died in 1993. So, uh, whoever is Greek, I'll leave a link below for you for this anyway. It's in Greek, and that's my translation. So, uh, as we say in our Christian church, the Christian Orthodox Church, uh, we know prophecies only after they take place. Then we call them prophecy that has been fulfilled. So, God bless us all, and uh, we will never stop praying, because prayers change everything for the better. Elder St. Paisius also predicted Brexit 20 years ago. Article by Mary Harris, I'll leave a link below for you. This was an uh, article written just after the Brexit vote. Elder Paisius, who is a recent saint of the Greek Orthodox, the Christian Orthodox Church, a Greek saint that is the Nostradamus of Greece. Of course, Nostradamus was not a Christian saint, whereas the Prophecy, the gift of prophecy is real in his saints, in God's saints. Now, St. Paisius was canonized uh, last year, a well-known monk, that is two years ago, a well-known monk of Mount Athos. He was considered a sage, ascetic, and was sought after for advice by many believers while he was still among us. 20 years ago, he prophesied that the destruction of the European Union would start in the UK. He said it won't last for many years. It would be destroyed by the Brits and the Americans because they are the one nation that worked together. They say, what's going on here? Is Hitler rearing his head again? And that's how they'll dissolve it, uh, end quote. Of course, here he means that the strength of Germany is rearing so much ahead that they are saying, what's going on here? Why are they deciding to dictate to everybody who, how to run their laws and also to lose their nationality and sovereignty? That's not to be done. So his prophecies are dragging from the woodwork every time world events occur. Last year, another of his prophecies concerning the war between Russia and Turkey was revived, revived following Turkey's downing of a fighter jet, a Russian fighter jet, St. Paisius said that Constantinople would become Greek again, that Constantinople being Istanbul, that it would become Greek again, that, Amer the, that Armenians would also get their property returned to them. When St. Paisius reposed in his passing July 2nd, 1994, his only will was to have lived for a few more years to see his country expanded. Quote, Turkey will be dissected, he wrote. This will be to our benefit as a nation. This way our villages will be liberated, our enslaved homelands. Constantinople will be liberated, will become Greek again, end quote. He prophesied that tough times would come. He did, he did foresee the Greek uh, um, bankruptcy and the economic crisis. Uh, 
uh, at least two decades before it came upon us. But that God would help bring the interests of greater powers in alignment with Greek interests, quote, not because of justice or friendship, but because it would be to their benefit, end quote. St. Paisus was born Arsenius Esnepidis in Pharasa, Cappadocia of Turkey, Asia Minor in 1924. His family moved to uh, northern Greece, Gonitsa and Epiros, following the population exchange, and he grew up to be a carpenter. He also served as a radio operator in the Greek Civil War, and uh, that was after the um, uh, Second World War. As a monk, he became famous for his spiritual teachings. In his youth, he was at uh, Mount Sinai, the monastery, the male monastery of St. Catherine, and then he moved to the Holy Mountain, Mount Athos. And he has uh, been known to have a lot of prophecy and many, many healings, cures, and you can uh, see a lot of videos on his life on YouTube if you'd like to learn more about him his tremendous graces.